Hello, Matthew Williams here, Secret Vault. I'm going to commit absolute heresy here because I'm going to tell you exactly how to get into this site from a much better place than we got in before. So anyway, here's London, here's Basingstoke, here's Reading, and here's Pystock. It's down the M3. Come down the M3, get off for sort of uh, Farnborough Airport-ish way and just work your way down anyway. We'll put a link for how to get to the, the spot that we parked, but this is the best way, the, often used by um, people who are walking their dogs. So they come down here, down this road, and we parked here and jumped over the fence, went along this little bit and cut through the forest and got right out on the edge about here. So there are holes in the fence, so go and have a look for them. Now, you might be saying, why are you telling us to do this, Matt? And, well, sadly, we found out that this whole place is going to be demolished and there won't be anything left. Um, this bit has already gone, which I was trying to explain to people later on in the video. As you'll see, this bit's been taken off. They've already taken off the stairs, so you can't get onto the roof anymore. But there are still some brilliant bits to see. So because it's going to be demolished pretty soon... I'm telling you how to get there. Anyway, don't go flying your drone because if we zoom out, we have a big airfield called Farnborough here. You will get in trouble. And guess what's across the road? <laughs> Arc data centers, who just happen to also be based at Corsham. <laughs> yeah, GCHQ at Corsham. But we're not, honestly, they say. But anyway, and who else have we got? Kinetic at Farnborough. And look what their logo is. <laughs> a bomb site, nice. Anyway, so and look, they've even got a little aircraft on site as well. But um, there we go. So we just can't wait till this place becomes disused and we can get down there and have a look as well. Thanks very much for watching and go and visit Kinetic. Or well, not Kinetic. Well, it is Kinetic. Go and visit the National Gas Testing Establishment or um, at uh, Pystock. <laughs> Why have they got this here when the f***ing thing's all closed? Uh, do. Yeah. Shit. I suppose that might be a way, is it? So, I suppose to do introduction then, to be a professional YouTuber and all that. Hello, Matt Williams. Look, I'm wearing new clothes. <laughs> it's a feature of my channel. I always wear the best, best gear. But, um, yeah. So, uh, i got Sam and Jess, who are fresh from Bristol. Check out their Instagram. It's in the links below. And we've got Carl from Dark Arts Paranormal. He's come all the way from sunny Wales. So, uh, yeah, we're in an unusual place called the Pie Stock and a Coic Chamber. And uh, they're building houses on the back. We did come here once before, but uh, when we came here, a few people commented to us that we'd missed half the fun because there's a building down there and there's also an underground bit over there, which we missed, so we're going to get in now. We're just scooting along the fence looking for suitable uh, suitable holes that we can get in, because I don't fancy climbing over this uh, barbed wire crap, so... Ah. But this place is all disused, it's all going to be a housing estate, they're building houses right across the back and uh, we don't really know what the future of this building is so if anybody knows what they've got planned for this because this is a piece of history, I mean they developed Rolls-Royce Concorde engines, jet engines, fighter engines have all been tested in this place and I mean you don't get many of these anywhere 
in the world. And there is a trust down the way that has a um, uh, a jet engine testing facility as well. And they're, uh, what do we call it, they're a charitable trust. And I did write to them and I said, uh, so why did you take this place over as well then? Stop them demolishing it. Because it's really something else. So anyway, we shall get in there. I'm now going to do professional transition. Ready? Watch this now, folks. I'll see you across the other side of the fence. Boom. Oh, I've just have to duck down through this hole in the fence. It's a bit of f***ing... It's a bit of shit. It's just scagged my clothes, which uh, is, I'm glad I got my old shitty coat on. Are you alright? <laughs> Hang on, let me just pull this Harris fence out of the way for him. Because it's... Uh, it's a little bit tight. Oh, it's hurting the hands. You all right? Not scagged, no. Cool. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you're all right. Ah, good stuff. Do you want my idea? I mean, the tent's caught from there. Can I, uh, go about a sec? I just need to tighten up my, uh, torch. It's flopping round. Flop on. <laughs> Got to flop on, yeah. Story of my life when you get to my age, see? <laughs> That's what it's all about. So yeah, Dark, dark Arts Paranormal, Carl. Introduce him now because he was on a phone call a minute ago. <laughs> what did you do? Come on folks, smash that like button. Yeah. <laughs> smash, <laughs> smash that like button. Drop a comment, tell me your thoughts are. <laughs> <laughs> it's not far away at all really. I think he's right though, we would probably best off if we head a little bit left because there's a hole in the Harris fence. So uh, that's where we missed before. We thought that was some sort of, this thing here was some sort of uh, 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 um, electric electricity substation, which is probably why the lights were on. That's what we were thinking. But it turns out that that's actually part of the old facility as well. So, yeah. Oh, well, we got in round the back, didn't we? Oh, oh yeah, on the other, yeah. So, do you want to do this one again first? Get, yeah. get Carl acquainted with it? Or go down and see that bit? This bit, as I'll do some of those. Mm. Seems drier than the last time <laughs> we were here. Yeah. It's just weird, isn't it, why that, all the lights are on in that bit? It's very strange. So yeah, that's going to be the bait bit probably, if anything. Just going to work out route in then. Do you reckon walk around it and go around the front side like we did before? Because we'll have to get through there, but we can just walk around. I think I think the fence just takes a left. Whew, look at that! Look at the big hole in the back of that building there. It's all reflective, um, reflective stuff. It's just metal sheeting they put up to. Uh... Yeah, so we found a we found a hole in the fence. Just had just the top half is loose, so just to push it back. So that's quite easy, so we weren't, weren't too far away from any en entrances. I don't think I saw this building last time we were here. It just looks like a, a little old um, uh, transformer, transformer station. Just be careful, it might still be live. It's an, uh, oh, 
Oh yeah. Some big old uh, bits of equipment in there. Big old cables coming out of the floor. But are they live? That's the thing. Hmm. Start making noises now. Do you reckon we went in and out of one of these doors? Didn't we? I think it was that one over there. Might be locked now. Oh, they stuck rocks in front of it. Oh no. I hope we haven't come too late for this. Shit. Look at this. Twats. Wankers. Oh, look, they've cut off the bloody stairs. Oh, my God. Oh, what? They've cut off the stairs to stop us going up there. Oh, shit. This is not good news, folks. This is not good. They are miserable little bastards, aren't they? I believe they've all that work. Miserable bastards. Honestly. You're not coming in our place. Really? Why is that then? What's wrong with it? Why aren't we going in your place? <laughs> oh god. I'm thinking. This may be a f***ing waste of time. Look what they've done to it. They're just like, no, we're just going to actually thrash it and smash it around as much as we can. Really? Is that necessary? I don't think that goes inside. I don't know where it does go. It does? Oh, right. Well, we're in then. Somebody, some, somebody decided, because yeah, we, t we looked at this one. I remember I said to you, is this one open? And you walked to the top of it to have a look, because yeah. I was being lazy. Brilliant. So, whoa, that's a bit of luck. <laughs> somebody who's very naughty has smashed their way in. So, I would not normally condone this sort of behaviour, but then, who's smashing more? The people who own the place, or the people who are visiting it? Yeah. You have to ask that question, don't you? You, um, I'll give you uh, mm. exclusive rights on my footage if you just film some of it. <laughs> oh wait, it's a film. Mm. You're in luck, lad. <laughs> You're in luck. <laughs> Is it filming? Your one? Uh, no. It's not? I'm not going to film now. Wow, what's the point? What's the point? You've got to film yourself climbing in. Thank you, man. That's right. <sighs> right, well, I've got to get my, uh, my big torch out then. So, my sticker's still on. They've taken my sticker off. It's weird, isn't it? It's almost like uh, it's that instant soundproof. Yeah, and it's not it's, it's not as bad here as it is on the other side. It's the even other side's crazy, isn't it? Or more mad, yeah. I think they took my sticker off. Was it on this side, was it? Was it? I thought it was the other side. But um, I might be wrong. Mm. Wow. That was bizarre. They took it? Yeah. <laughs> they are mega childish, the people who run this place. I'm going to get some more stickers out then. <laughs> right. You say Got this it. isn't like the main soundproof part either? No, yeah. this is the back of it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Does it get worse then, yeah? yeah? Yeah, you've actually got a bit of echo here. It's like a little... Just coming down there you'll feel different. Yeah. It's what they, it's, it's the, I think they call this like plate echo. But yeah. 
So I'm going to turn my thing off because I'm going to get the light out. So. Hello. Exterminate all humans. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to. Which, which way should we go then? Down, down this, and have a look at the air intakes. Is it? Yeah. So we go through and have a look at the air intakes. Let's get my my lights around the wrong way. So squeezy, squeeze. Squeezy, 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 squeeze. And we've got um, microphone stands, which we saw before. We're not going to dwell too much on the details here, but yeah. You've got to turn your body sideways, so you'll have to turn your bag sideways. Oh my god. Fuck, I'm reborn again. Yeah. So if you notice where the air comes in, bigger gaps. So this is bigger stream. One second, one second. Yeah. So yeah. if you notice, you've got bigger gaps, so it's like bigger stream. Big streams, big rivers run slow. When they get to a point, a narrow point, which is these are the narrow points then it has to shoot faster. So it's all about acceleration. They're accelerating, they're trying to simulate through just uh, easy methods because those fans couldn't do 400 miles an hour. They couldn't do it. So what they do is they take them in at maybe 100 miles an hour and then they make them through the pressure go 200 miles an hour, 300 miles an hour, round the corner 400 miles an hour because there's two come together, you see. One comes from one side, this is one side, one comes from the other. So when they go around, they meet in the middle and then the combined the combined uh, pressure will go 400 miles an hour through the hole. So I wonder what it was actually like, you know, when the fans are on full blast, everything's in working motion. I wonder what it'd be like to stand right here now. Drekken would be standing. You'd probably get blown towards those things there because it'd be 100 mile an hour wind. It would be worse than the worst type of storm you've ever stood in. You know, like one of those ones where you're leaning forwards and if you lift your feet, if you lift your feet, you'll actually get blown backwards. You know one what, of those. I'd, I'd love to be at that point in time when the fans are in just to see what the pressure's like. Well, you'd have to have it on low probably because you could end up dead. Jesus. <laughs> you could probably get throw. You probably get come through here at reasonable speed. It, it's like by the by the main fans, you'd probably be going like this. If you step towards these bits, you'd probably get thrown through here. Then you'd get flicked through there, <laughs> and then you'd get pulled around the side. And if it could get you up, if it could lift you up, right, you'd go 400 miles an hour towards a jet engine, and you'd go. Splat. Yeah. Yeah. Splat. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So here you've got your air intakes. So you'd probably have like about 100 miles an hour air pressure there and 100 miles an hour air pressure there. It divert, it converts into the middle. So they both come along here and then they turn sideways. Then they're forced faster, faster, faster. They go round the back and they meet again because... Cool to do some like kind of air softening. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Yeah. It's model sealed down with concrete there. Yeah, that I think it was probably meant to be like that. Um, because if you notice all the pipes go up through it. Yeah. So it may be that the pipes go up across into the tops of the all the other parts. If you notice there's one, two, three, four, five, and the sixth one is, is blocked up. But I reckon you're gonna have at least six or twelve. So you'll have six up and six back probably. So Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then uh I, I just guess, you see, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've got pressure up and pressure down. So it's you know it's to tell the difference between the pressure in this room and there's your emergency stop. So I think I'm getting the hang of hang of what, what would have been going on here now. And and I think it's basically the the reason they have it up is so if you grab it if you grab it when you're oh, hang on I'll put my camera down if you grab this and you you go Ugh! that's to stop it it only everything works only in the up position which is on so if you grab it Ugh! like that that's that'll stop it so down would be off 
path there. But, you know, this would have been the own, the escape route just underneath, you know, where the 100 mile an hour wind is. You could probably pull yourself up the, the stairs here. But once you start getting around this corner, you're going to be into speeds that a nuclear bomb would produce, you know, three, four hundred mile an hour, which is uh, something I don't think you'd be able to stand up in as it goes down there. This is the uh, other guy's thing. His, his thing's still here, see? I think they must have been a bit pissy about my mm. my stuff. I'm pretty sure. I think you can fix one. Is it? Yeah, oh, I can't see it anyway. Hmm. There's another one. Yeah. You know, security cards, they're, they're like little children, really, you know. Because, I mean, couldn't get any other job, could they? So, um... Sorry, Stephen, if you're watching. Um, <laughs> no, I'm sure you've got a PhD and, and you're just, you know, studying sociology and the, you know, the psychoactive habits of drug takers and uh, shoplifters. That's what you're really doing, isn't it, for your PhD paper? But yeah, I think most rest of the security guards, um, they don't actually, uh, they don't have a, a lot going on. So when they see something like this, this upsets the security guard. Yes. <laughs> It puts wind up him. See him narrowing, narrowing down there. So, let's just get my squeeze on. Need to get my squeeze on. I can't believe, I can't believe Carl's having problems with that. We'll just put it down to his bag. Blame the bag. It's definitely thinner than me. <laughs> Something's going on. Since your video, my stepbrother's been calling me Finn Boy. Finn Boy. Say, Finn Boy, Finn Boy. Finn! <laughs> yeah, well, both here, really. Must be the veg vegetarian. Oh, sorry, vegan. I'm sorry to be. I'm sorry to uh, say rude things about you there, then. Yeah. Ve vegan. See, I nearly did it a second time. Vegan. <laughs> yeah. Vegan. Yeah, it's very quiet, isn't it? Sounds, I, te I tell you really what, weird. that sounds weird. What? Hardly. <laughs> that, that can, we can that's hardly weird. hear you. No, it's weird, isn't it? And it's can just. You hear it this way. It's taken. <laughs> yeah, it's taken all weird. the bass. It's taken all the bass off you, and it's just very mid-range. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I feel like my life's <laughs> just been EQ'd. Hmm. It sounds like you're standing behind a closed door, yeah. trying to speak to somebody through a closed door. Speak, speak as you're coming through. Say stuff, say stuff. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's sounding normal, oh. he's sounding normal again now. That's weird, isn't it? That was so strange. So this is the, uh, the high bit that we have to get up. Oh, I hope they haven't taken the uh, the foam and everything away. Oh, yeah, I bet they are. <sighs> Fingers crossed. These ladders are high. Ladders are in steps This is pretty high now. Wow, these are high. It's like NASA quality. Uh, <laughs> stairs these. Whoa, somebody's, somebody's made those into a special shape, look. Probably for photographs. Uh, yeah, they've got like a shovel there and stuff. Do you know what it kind of looks like? It looks like um, the portal's been switched off. Yeah. As soon as you switch it on, man, that's it. You can just enter the next dimension. It, it reminds me of that the adverts from the 80s. Um, can I, can I borrow, borrow your services a second? <coughs> Who remembers this then? Hang on, get ready for it. I'm not going to over otherwise, and I'm just good at doing stupid things. Hang on. Perhaps if I put my hat on, it will help express. Who remembers this? Memorex! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> he's got all the speakers around him, and then he's sitting back like this. He's sitting back like that, and he's like, Memory! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These would be really good. You could put these in your room, and they would like kill off the sound as well. They're much sturdier than I expected. These are satin. They're made out of satin. The other ones were made out of like uh, foam, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it was. It was like um, the stuff you made chairs out of. It was almost like velvety. Because yeah. I thought it was like that material, but yeah. I wonder what this this circular part is. Then. Well, this is just to direct the wind towards the jet engine, which would have been up there behind Sam. That circle would have held the jet engine in place and the air would come towards the jet engine and the exhaust would go through that hole and dissipate out the back. No way. Yeah. Can I borrow your services a sec? Cheers. Oh, I better see what I'm doing. Duncan. Thank you. Still oh. there? Yeah. Cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we're in luck. Tell you what, we should get some uh, BMXs to try and ride their bikes round here. Yeah? See if they could do the full loop. <laughs> oh God! Can you imagine that. <laughs> yeah. Duncan. I wonder if that door is still open on the side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God. There's one. It, it, there's one before that. Oh yeah, you're all right. There's a step onto a block there. Some serious sponge. Spon SpongeBob. That's a right descent. So this could be for test equipment and what they might have done is to save running cables mass, massive distances they probably took all the pressure lines into here which you can see so they've got various different things like um, nitrogen and various different you can see hundreds of different pressure things going in there and then it would probably be loads of pressure sensors inside there and then it would probably feed back up through fiber optics which I can see here a lot of these are fiber optics so and pressure tubes so it would probably take all the um, the pressures convert them into digital and then transmit the digital stuff oh, look as an old video card <laughs> um, transmit that long distance to the control rooms which wouldn't be directly in this area back in this room again it's weird it doesn't it's hard to tell whether it actually goes anywhere I'm interested to find out though. Yeah. So I'm going to take my bag off and I'm going to do some climbing up the pipes. I think, right there. I think so, they'll hold our weight. Yeah. Pigeon poo everywhere though. Oh. Just for a sec, I'll climb up and then we'll uh, swap over. Jack, you've been up a lot of this at some point. I, I reckon. Must have done, yeah. It's yeah. weird, there's like a little platform there, there's no stairs. Mm. Yeah, look, it, it had um, things screwed into the side of it, and they've probably taken them off. No, I uh, So they don't want people up here for some reason. Oh, yeah. 
standaard, standaard uh, soundproof counter. Dat je ook Mijn pad heb. Dank je. Dus we weer aans en aans gaan doen. Alright, we're gonna get up on the yeah. space. Oi! You alright? Yeah. Shit bobbly. Should be alright there. When you're feeling comfortable, can I hand you the camera? Thanks. Can you hold it a bit further down so you don't... Yep. Sorry about this, but... Oh, it's coming up. <laughs> don't, don't do that, folks. Physics tells you that hot air rises. It's not good. Right, can I hand you the honours, sir? Oh, could we show the, the deathly, deathly things that we do for entertainment purposes? Full of poop, pigeon poop. Yeah. Oh look, this is full of um, like a white powder, chalky stuff. I wonder what it is. Probably poison. <laughs> yeah. Might be they used to spread it around to uh, show the the track of the wind or something. I don't know. But yeah, there's definitely stuff up here. Um, there's little switches here that says inch, inch, and there's a. There's a key in that. An inch again. Inch, inch, inch. That is weird. That is well weird. So where does this go then? Yeah, it's got little control things. More little control things. There's lights up here, so obviously people are meant to stand up here at some point. Look, they've got all their little pressure things come through here pressure connectors. Well there's not a lot really, they've just got a load of these um, little uh, silencers put up here. Does nothing go from the other side? No, but if you look there's, a, there's like an electric box there which is covered up so I reckon they've just stuck it up so you can't see. Mm. So yeah, you can't get down that side but what's down there I wonder? It's like a box. It's just sealing it off from that room beneath, I think. So it's making the room not accessible. I wonder what's up here. Nothing. Nothing. So, yeah. Oh well. We've, we've done as much as we can. That's going through into the, what's known as the lift room where the equipment is. And there's lots of these um, sound baffles here. But yeah, there's not a lot up here really. I wonder what's down here. There's lots of wires and boxes which are not easy to see, I suppose, if you're down there, maybe. God knows. It's a weird little part of the, the building and there's lights up there, so obviously somebody might have been meant to work here. And there's an emergency handle and there's a pressure, pressure thing there. It says Differential and pressure difference. Stitch well. Hmm. Oh well, there we go. Mystery solved. Oh, there is a little uh, pressure gauge up here as well. Ah. It says, I think it's oxygen. Should turn this one on for oxygen. Oxygen. Rudenberg. You okay? Hmm. Can do that if I were you. Right. 
So just uh, documenting our mad climbing across the pipes. There's Mr. Mr. Sam. I always uh, my brain brain spasms, and I always go to, go to call Sam Dan, and then my brain goes no Sam, but I always go da, da, Sam. <laughs> so, my, so my brain says it every time nearly. Yeah, Dan Sam. So I haven't got enough room in my brain for in, for more people to know. <laughs> and got eight, I've got like eight, eight slots. Yeah. And then they have to double. Some, some of them have to double up. Carl's worried because um, some of that stuff got tipped. You better go round. Don't don't hang by there. Go round just in case. Um... Yeah, I would. Just in case, isn't it? This way now. If there is a way or not. Well, there's, there's stairs that go up this side of the building, but obviously they don't don't go to the top. But they oh, you can climb up on the top of that thing. That isn't connected to the building. Is it not? Doesn't look like it. I wonder what's in there. Ah. Still open then. Yeah. Hazardous area. Oh, that's the way in. That's the main entrance in. Anechoic chamber 591. But does it go round the back? No, it's just, just a little building on its own. That's quite that's quite weird. It's got toilets, this is a toilet here. So this is an anechoic chamber and then that's 591, it says 599, it says uh, noise test facility. Yeah. So that's a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why they would do that. Because this is a separate little building. And it doesn't doesn't actually connect to the main building. Strange. Yeah, it is. Maybe it's a little control room or something. Maybe this is where all the equipment went in, like all their computers and stuff. Is that them saying something? Yeah. Lights off. Where? No, there's definitely somebody there. Should we go? Should we go? Should we walk down to the other place? Scared, I expect. brightness up. There's somebody, somebody down there with a torch walking around. So it's probably security. So yeah, that's a completely different building, isn't it? I wonder if they had equipment in there, like the electronics or something. Kept in a se separate room. Yeah, kept in a separate room, so it's quieter probably. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll check that on the way back then, shall we? Hopefully, 
we can get in this other place. It's so bizarre, isn't it? And everyone said, oh, you missed the best bit. This is the control room. You want to come down here? Unless the control room was in this bit and it's been knocked down. Maybe it was here. Yeah. Maybe I this think is... the control room would have been that building there. Small well, I think it was a huge, huge electrical control room and it actually had loads of pipes going through it as well, didn't it? It had like pipes going through the centre of the building and stuff. So I've seen photos of it. This looks like a factory. And it looks like it may be a working factory. And if it's not a working factory, maybe they're keeping it secured because they're hoping to sort of sell it to somebody to use it when when the housing estate is finished. It's a bit, it's a bit on the right, but it's old, but I don't know. It's not original. Hmm. I wonder why they would leave the lights on. What's to scare people like us away? I was expecting a security vehicle to drive up here now. There are any vehicles here. No. Looks like loading bays for lorries. I thought there was an alarm going off then for a second. It's a bird, yeah. Yeah. So this is, this doesn't have a lock on it. There's no lock on it. There's there's no lock on the gate, I don't think. Or is there? Oh yeah, there is. Shit. Yeah, there is a lock. Oh, but there's bits there's bits of um, engines and things here. Look like pipes. Bits of pipe. So I think this was some, I think this was something to do with it. Standard aero. Yeah, fuel delivers the fuck's that on. Yeah. Standard aero. I wonder what they do then, if anything. It looks massive pipes going into the building. Reception. Oh Rolls Rolls Royce. Rolls Royce. Yeah, it says Rolls Royce up there. And they've got they've got cameras. They've got those little motion sensitive cameras. But it says there on the side, I don't know if you can see it, it says Rolls Royce. Just dial that down. Right about there, Rolls Royce. There's a camera right next to it. There's a camera right there. And if we keep walking along, I think we're going to trigger it. I don't think this place could be in use anymore. Somehow. I mean... I don't know about getting underneath that fence. It's possible. A bit tight, but... Where are we going to go? Did you hear that? It was over there this time. There's there's a camera, one of those motion sensing cameras that takes photos as well. There's one back there on the building. Looks like you could almost get underneath the fence, that, that gate, because it's quite high back there. So I don't know whether... Oh, they, they step, they go up and down. I reckon you could definitely do it here because it steps up and down. Oh, hang on. Oh, maybe not. Oh, no, if it was that high, but they stepped down really... No, maybe not. It's a bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Oh. Oh, 
what we see, Mr. Security Guard. Yeah. Look at that. Not open, is it? Why don't you just go down the side? Oh, you're not going to climb that. You'll, you'll, you'll wreck yourself. Really? Yeah, just go in through that thing and walk down the side. It'd take you two seconds, wouldn't it? <laughs> They call, they call this palisade fencing, is it? Palisade, I think they call it, yeah. Toilets, these are. It's a male toilet. <coughs> God, why am I sneezing? <coughs> Equipment room, is it? Occupied site, danger, live electrics. So you've still got live electrics in that bit then. Oh, yeah, here he goes. Is it open? Apparently the window's through up here, so let's go and have a look. Can you climb through that window? It's a bit smaller, isn't it? It's a glass. Yeah. What do you reckon? Um, oh yeah. It's like the equipment room. Equipment. I suppose it would just be more of that. Do you think that just goes straight to outside that door on the other side? Um, yeah, because the window look. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there's no stairs to the upstairs. You've got to go up the other stairs on the other side to get to the other bit. So we've basically seen this room then. Yeah. So there's nothing to see here. We've seen it all. So there we go. Whew, so we don't have to go back in this one, but we could go upstairs. Is that it? Are we going to go around the back of this building then? We're going to go around the back again. It is. Oh my god, yeah, this is it. This is the subterranean bit. So we were going to go around the back, but it's actually here. We're lucky we came around here then. Oh yeah, wow. And it just had little glass, <laughs> glass panel windows. Yeah. Yeah, look. Oh, wow. Cool. Let me just set the camera up. You could easily slide on glass down here, so be careful. So, okay, two out of three things we managed to see whilst we were here. Ah. Pipe room. Yeah, oh, loads of uh, expanding foam. Loads of tiny foams. Grab that. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Hey, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> honeycomb. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They use this in aircraft. Honeycomb and stuff like that. Strengthening in aircraft. But we've got uh, a walkway here. They've got a nice, nice bit of matte proof material yeah. for your head. Oh, pipes, pipes and pipes and pipes and more pipes and some more pipes. Now, I have heard it said that um, this is connected to electric, so we better be careful. Is there another door over there? Look. So I'm just going to see whether I'm going to get electric, electrocuted with 100,000 volts. I think I'm okay. 
215 volts. Not nice. Whoa, there's a door, yeah? Oh, oh it, goes, it goes up to indoors. How's this? How is this? What the hell? I think somebody's been trying to kick the door through because it's locked. Yeah, you can't get through there. That, that's to the inside of us. Or are we on, we're on the back of this little micro building, aren't we? So we're on the back, we haven't actually gone back inside the main building yet. So we're on this little square micro building. But these pipes are gonna go beyond the micro square building, I think. Oh, there it says on the wall, look, kinetic. Kinetic, again. So, here we go. Pressure, pressure gauges. Look, somebody's exploring gloves. They left you, look. Somebody's exploring gloves. Silly. Oh, dear. <laughs> So this looks like it probably goes beyond the limits of that square building. Another one. Yeah, to the outdoors. So plenty of cables and stuff. I've seen photographs of this. Oh God, is it getting deeper? I was going to say it's going on the pipes because uh, that water's getting a bit over the top of my boots. down here. Although it doesn't, the flooding doesn't go to this side because there's a little, uh, little gap I think. So flooded there and not flooded here I think. Yeah, looks good. So there's a spiral staircase going up here. That's funny. A funky spiral staircase. So we've got pipes all the way back to where Carl is, yeah. back there. And then we've got a nice spiral staircase and we've got pipes going up. Pipes going up and into the building. So, let's see what we got. What's this then? Why would that be there like that? It's a bit weird, isn't it? Mm. Or would it have been flipped down there? Maybe they had a message on you and you'd flip it up if there was like people working. Oh, it might be. Flip it down. Is it? Is it on the back? Oh yeah, there is. So maybe it was meant to be flipped the other way. Oh no, maybe not. Or oh, this way? Oh, oh hang on. hello, hello. I think we've got the, the mystery has been solved. Look. Danger, test in progress, controller, contact controller before entry. And then you flip that out of the way. Right, let's go and have a look at these uh, spiral staircase. Yeah. Maybe it goes to the top floor. Bloody hell. If we're lucky, it'll go to the top floor. It does, doesn't it? It goes right up. Yeah. So, that would be nuts. I think I'm about to run out of battery. Pretty typical. Whoa, there's a big, big mains cable here. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I like the look of that. I'm just going to push it out of the way. <laughs> Hope for the best. Don't kick it. It's crazy, that staircase. It's tight and cut It is. It's completely tight. Wow. Safety helmets must be worn. Oh. Is that it? Is that a door? Oh, please let that be a door. Does it slide? Does it slide? I don't know, actually. Yeah, it might do. There's like a speed there. You might be able to... 
Can you chuck it up to me? Yeah, cheers. Bottom corner, maybe. Yeah, hold on to that a sec. Yeah, okay. Right, um... I don't know whether it's like locked on the inside. Can you hold on to my camera a sec? I think I've got something sharp in my bag. Or have I? I don't know. I'm not sure. I've got something sharp. I don't know if you'll jam through there. Right. There's loads of um, signs saying asbestos up here. Oh, yeah. There's something locked at the top. But it's sort of gone a bit. Oh, yeah. Next level is now open. Ding, 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 ding. Level achieved. Oh my God, I think we're in, we, guess where we are. You are never gonna guess where we are. Oh, what? We're in the pipe. We're in the exhaust pipe. Oh my God. <laughs> we found the exhaust pipe. Oh my God. I believe that. I need to get my hat off and cool down because I'm a bit hot coming up that stairs now. But look at this. Oh, look at all the gantries. Oh my God. We've hit the, we've hit the jackpot. Oh God, I'm so glad we came back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Could you hold on to this a sec? Yeah. Cheers, mate. Let me just tie this off. It's a bit hot, isn't it? That back there. I don't think it was locked, that thing. I think it was just stiff. That, that door that we went through was just a little bit, hadn't been opened in forever. So, I'm just going to tie my hat off so I don't have to wear it because I'm sweating. I think the trouble is, I've got all my thermals on and they're just right for outside, but once you come inside, you don't want to have them on. But I'd rather be warm than cold, because last time I was cold, I got a bad back for a week, so not good. So it says drop, do not enter. So let's... There's a bit of rope jammed up, jammed up in the corner. But well, it, it is a drop as well. They ain't kidding. It is actually a drop. Whoa. Yeah. So that wasn't clever, but... Oh, look, honeycomb. Honeycomb, vent. Wow, and you can get inside the uh, the thing as well by the looks of it. it. It might be possible to actually get in there. So, this is obviously to outside, this is to stop people falling. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we hit the we hit the jackpot though here. Oh. It might be possible to get inside this this chamber somewhere. They've been just sting, stringing insulation along it, lagging in insulation. So it's compressed air. That's, that looks like steel, steel or stainless steel or something. You know, it won't be stainless because it starts to rust. So it must be steel. That's a spring, spring loading, just shock absorbing. And they've they've tensioned it up, so they've they've introduced a certain amount of spring tension. So this is like a shock absorber, and it's connected to the um, the pipes to stop the pipes ripping themselves out with the vibrations from the jet engine, because we're right next to the jet here, and they don't want this compressed air thing to rip itself apart. So it's connected up onto the I beams to this. This is suspended. That's a suspension there. It's actually holding it in midair from the I beam. Amazing, amazing. So we just have to be careful where we walk in case there's any bits that drop. It's a bit of a bell, bell going on there. Oh look, fire evacuation systems, uh, room relay interface units, drain, drain valves. Right, we're gonna have to climb up there, aren't we? And there's even more gantries up there. 
this is what I was wondering why we couldn't find this sort of area, but obviously we we've gone in the wrong bit. Well, what's this then? Warning. Highly flammable LPG. There's nothing in there now though. So this might have been some sort of gas connection. I, I, there's probably meters here, but it's gone now. But yeah, gas detector inside. Oh, Jess is going for it. Ooh. Right, whilst she's having a look over there, I'm just going to check the back of this. So this must be where it goes through into the room. So you can't really get any further, but you probably can get into those the jet vents, um, some of the jet venting up the top. So let's go and have a look at that then. Right, I'm bound to be running out of uh, power in a second, so... I don't know if it would be a good idea for me to just change the battery now, so yeah, let's do it. What's up there? Pipes. More pipes. Is there like another way down? Probably on the other side. What's that? When we thought it was all over, it's not over. So we could go climbing up this ladder, but apparently we don't need to because there's a stairs. So we're going to go for the stairs. Whoa! What the? Did you drop some in? No, there's a extinguisher from the fire Right. Danger, do not enter. Sheer drop. Looks like there was some sort of material on the side of this as well. And that's been ripped off in some bits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, to make my life a bit easier, I'm going to take my bag off. There's no point me clambering around with all that weight on me. So I'm going to have a nice little walk up without my bag on. See your bag and hat. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back for you. Now I think these um, these large pipes are from the water tank on the roof, and these these things here are emergency releases. Now they've chained it, and it's probably because that means there's water still on the roof. If we were to open these, it might flush in there. And what I think it is is basically somewhere further out there or off the end there would have been sprays so if they needed if they had a fire or something like that they could spray water into the jet exhaust like an uncontrolled runaway of the engine and it was spooling up and they couldn't stop it and it was starting to you know get a bit dangerous they could just fire water throughout the whole of the exhaust area to stop flames from coming out these steps are a bit bent one of them's a bit bent but yeah it's like some fat bastard's gone up there and just like bent it over. So, wow, look at the size of that crane. Seven and a half tons, it says. I would have thought it would have been able to do more than that, size of that thing. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, that would be the room. That's the main room on the other side of that. And they've even got a, another one that goes right the way through there, another uh, thing. So they, they, these must have been for lifting the jet engine up and down into position, I would imagine. But, uh, yeah. So this could be, this could be exhaust fumes. But it could, no, it's compressed air in. Compressed air in, it's saying. Goes that way. So I would imagine that must be compressed air out. 
So these, these um, valves then are to let the compressed air in and out. They're not for fire extinguishing. So compressed air goes up, goes through into some sort of equipment up there, and it would return probably down that side. Interesting. And that's an electric valve there. So you've got a manual valve, and you've got an electric valve. That's what that thing is there. That's the motor, and that, that's got a plunger. It probably, it probably opens a, what they call a ball valve. See, that thing is shaped like a ball. It's rounded. It's got a ball in there, which has a hole in the middle, and that turns it sideways, just like you have in radiators at home. So there's a ball in there, and the arm of the motor goes through, and it just turns it and opens and closes it like that. Ball valve. And another one over there. But it's a lot smaller, that one, for some reason. And one up there. There's another valve. Sixteen dual ignition unit. Ignition unit. That's interesting. Sixteen dual ignition unit. Oxygen deficiency monitor and alarm. Low oxygen. That's for people breathing stuff up here, so they have to get out. Sam's going to have a look up over there in that other room. Go up far or do you really much? This, <clears throat> you can you can only just see the top of the tunnel, so it's just right along the roof. Oh right, so this you can see into the other room properly the there. Main room, yeah. That's the main room, wow. I fancy going to have a look at this now. If you can see over the top and get an angle that most people have never got. So you've got vents open and closed, air. Oh look at this, quantum cryogenics. Quantum cryogenics. Mm. But here we go. So this is all uh, there's sensors, sensors into this, and it's all lagged, probably because it'd be cold. Some of the compressed air might be cold, and there's uh, expansion valves there, so it can expand and contract. Can I uh, hand this to you a sec? This is going to be high in a second. I'm betting. <laughs> Ready? I'm going to have a look now. I'm going to ship myself. <gasps> oh yes. That'd be very high. Yeah. So we're actually up in the gods now. And uh, we're on top of the machine that we were looking at earlier on and wondering where all the equipment went and now we know where the equipment goes. I'm just worried that, that this thing moves up and down. Yeah. You know, this, this whole thing is like designed to go up and down, but probably fairly safe if it can handle the power of a jet engine. But <laughs> yeah. But yeah. We do this so you don't have to, so make sure make sure you uh, like, subscribe and buy Carl's t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> can I, um, if you can grab that set, cheers, ma'am, thank you. You might as well buy somebody's t shirts because I haven't got any. Just buy them and wear them. Yay! So, I'm gonna go down the other side just to make it more interesting. Oh. Right, so if I get my angle down like that. Hey. Right, so yeah. Oh no, these are both going in. Compressed air going in, so they're both going in. They don't go out. As you can see there, comp compressed air. So they're both going in. So I would have thought there would have been a return on, on these. So gone in one way and come out the other. Don't know what the compressed air would be for.
tell us in the comments below if you know. And still buy his t-shirts. Tell us in the comments and buy three of his t-shirts. I was looking at somebody's video and they said, oh, have you got any adult onesies? That's like for, that's like for kids, that's like for babies. And they said, have you got any adult onesies? And he was like, he's considering it. He was like, oh, yeah, might get those in, I suppose. A few weirdos that want to wear, like, adult onesies of my, my logo. <laughs> yep. So, we've got a ladder down that side and a ladder down this side, so... Didn't it go even higher? Oh, there, there it is, look. It's, it's up the top. No, you can't really get to them over there. They might be crawl spaces, is it? Or nothing? Yeah. It might be when you had something heavy coming from one room to the other that you would have to guide it somehow, maybe, and people stand up there and guide things. But, yeah, we're on about these things. Gantries, but... Mmm... That. Yeah, there's one really crooked step on that when you go up there. See if you see if you spot it. What's that? There's a crooked step. Is it is it there? Yeah, it goes, it goes right back. It's like maybe something dropped on it or some fat bastard. Complete and utter fat as. Beep, bastard. Yeah. Do I go down in normal or go backwards? Was your own forwards or backwards, folks? Forwards. Forwards for you. Holding on. Tight. Should really angle this. Whoops. Like this. That's better. Mm. So according to this, they must. There might be asbestos in there. And check down this end then. So this is where we came in, and it was a bit, it was a bit hard that was to get that open. But it did go open in the end. But there's no handle on the other side. It's like there's a handle on this side, but there's no handle on the other side, which is a bit crappy. Not very nice. So, oh, oh this looks cool. Listen, loads and loads of different. Things. Sticky. It's like somebody's had something on their hands. It's sticky. Hmm. Bypass systems. Core systems. And bypass systems. Go all the way around. And we see the other side of that pipe. Big old solid stuff. Is this? That's lagging. Now that could be fiberglass, but it might be asbestos as well. That could be fiberglass, because it looks like it's got that sort of ridged coating, ridged sort of effect on it. But um, like a like a webbing, webbing material. Ooh. So yeah, lots of uh, lots of pipes and lots of little little things. Oh look, there's one that's open down here. There's, there's dust in it. Hope it's not anything bad. But there's loads of dust. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. 
tissue paper. You know, if you're stuck and you can't get any down the <laughs> down the supermarket, there you go. Excellent. So I think we've done this place now, haven't we? Yeah. We've properly done it. The only thing I think that would sort of like be better than this would be the Pripyat bloody, or is it the space station thing in? Uh, oh, yeah. The one with the aircraft still in it. Yes, it's got two space shuttles. Where is that? Is that India? I think it's is it um, Uzbekistan or it's like? Somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I can't remember. So, uh, beginning with S, it's, ne it's next to where they actually launch stuff today. They still launch um, stuff down the road, but it's just down the road from it. So it's beginning with, is it beginning with S? Sure. Yeah. I don't know, it's out in a desert somewhere, like, you know, yeah. Mongolia or... Hmm. Sure. I've seen the, my pictures, so it was fucking crazy. Spacecraft just chilling there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, mad as hell. Totally nicked the Americans' designs for the space shuttle and then started building it and then decided, oh, why are we doing this? <laughs> gave up. Oh, yeah. I think they gave up, yeah. Oh. Try not to lose me at. Yeah. So here's the old door, slide to open. There's no hand on the other side, which is the weirdest thing. So, you know, they don't want people coming in from this side. Mm. I, have, I haven't seen that photograph by anybody, so I think we might have had a bit of a a bit of an exclusive there. I'm not sure. I've seen this stuff down here, but I don't know if I've seen anybody go up the top. Maybe they couldn't get the door open. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't think anybody's videoed it. So we're definitely ahead of the game with that one. Here we go. Here comes Carl. That was like so tight. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like you're rubbing yourself against the wall, like against all the dust and. Crap, gonna get it on your clothes. So here we go again. We're gonna have to get like Sam's doing and get over there. This middle one bounces up and down or swings. Middle pipe swings around, look. Wow, wow, wow. Put something out of the bloody crystal maze, this, like, you know. Oh. Yeah. Want to walk on dodgy pipes. Alright. Oh. There we go. Not quite so uh, flooded in this room. Whew. Here he goes. Is he going to do it? Oh no. It's a good time to get it. You're all right in this room. Yeah, cool. So, oh, that we tried the other one. It was locked, wasn't it? Yeah. That goes to the outdoors anyway, I think. I swear there have been UFO crashes where people have come along and said, oh, but we found this in the UFO crash, this honeycomb stuff. And it's like, this is well known for use as insulation and um, reinforcement in aircraft. So. I 
Well, who would have thought that that was all hidden away? Yeah. yeah. Goodness gracious. Well, all you people who think you've seen play stock, you think you've seen play stock, you're going to be racing back down here now <laughs> to get in that bit, which is just there on this little side building that isn't part of the main building. It's not part of that. It's a side building, and then obviously it goes, pipes go underground, then you take a spiral staircase up there somewhere and come out, and come out on that netting that we were up there. That was the blue door that said don't step out of. That was that blue door there. That was the netting, and that's the other blue door not to step out of. So I think we've kind of done it now. That's it. All done. And these big bits of old uh, rock and plinth here are where the tube used to come out. The tube used to come out of here. Hang on, let me just open up the iris so you can see. Oh, there we go. So yeah, don't step out of these doors. Pipe would come out here. It would come through the air. It would come down and then go back up into some sort of big old vent that used to come out of the end. And these pieces of uh, stone were probably what it stood on. So, there we go. But they're doing their best to trash it. And that's not explorers, that's the people who own it. So he's like, don't don't go to places like that because they're dangerous and you end up causing damage. Well it's not us causing the damage, I don't think. Stone or concrete plinths. They're pretty substantial. See, all of that would have been coming out onto here. Excellent. Whew. See you, anechoic chamber. You finally revealed all your secrets, I think. And thank you to the uh, subscriber on the channel. You know who you are, who said, You've missed it! You missed the bits! If you want to get back down there, you miss some of the best bits. That's like, right, well, thank you to whoever you are. It's very good of somebody to leave a nice little hole for us, look. Perfect. Oh, it's very spongy, yeah? Yeah, it's really spongy. Oh, all the leaves and bedded down. There was, if you can see a Harris fence, it was, oh, there is a Harris fence. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, Harris fence was where the hole was. So. Right, this is the worst side. Let me pull this back for you. Just get that back. Like Mama's womb. The mouse has left our house. He's, he's not here today, he's gone away. Children. To ease his pain, he's down the drain. <laughs> what movie is that from? Answers in the comments below. The mouse has left our house. <laughs> I'm quite, I'm quite famous uh, for my sins. I uh, go to people's houses and they go, "Have you just peed all over my floor?"
Right, well, I think that's, uh, I'm going to say goodbye. I was falling down a hole because I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm going to stand still. So thanks for watching and tune in and, I don't know, donate to bloody Sea Shepherd. Goodbye. Tush, 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 tush. Tush, 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 tush.